Republican on our mixtape called Homegrown. It consists of some R and B hip hop tracks. Mm -hmm. So that's basically the quarter year plan before well, half half a year. Let's go to the year and go. So well before I started working on Carnival and thing again, it's homegrown mixtape. And the mixtape is as I said, R and B, hip hop. And there's some some very real tracks, some deep tracks. Things that I believe I've been going through for the years. So I just put pen to people and you know. Um, yeah. <coughs> oh the Facebook video? Yeah. Ah uh, yeah, that's real, that's real. I um, came home from Ross School that morning, wasted and I mean a pen of this and I decided to put it up on Facebook. Now all are feeling real good. I mean we making your rounds, we promoting for the vibes, all about the homegrown mixtape, so I just touching here and there everywhere, clubs, radio stations, put back my name on it. We in the mix and master stage right now, all the, the tracks kind of basically record. So we kind of want it to be real decent, so we're taking our time mixing have um, Yoshi, my former teacher from U UTT. He's a world renowned engineer and you know, he's helping us along with it. So, we got to my boy Smokey, Sharad Church. And who else? Sharad Church, Yoshi, myself. Okay. Yeah. Uh, um, I believe it's just in this industry, it's not that a, a dull moment could become a very dull existence. Exactly. <laughs> Very dull existence, so what I'm saying is just to keep at it. That's it. Constantly. Like right now, I can't even sleep properly because the wrongs are making me up and down night and day, night and day. And I feel like I'm even eating because I'm just trying to get myself back out there for everybody to know it. Yes, I am back. <laughs> Umi Makano is. A father, proud. How many? Three. Three or something? Yeah. Boys and girls? Oh, oh. All girls. Uh, all girls? Yeah. <laughs> what the hell? I mean, I love music. I produce. I'm also a proprietor. I have a laundry. Yeah. So, I do no business thing also. But you see, I love music, so I have to do my thing. At the end of the day, yes, we have businesses at the side, but you have to do what you love, you know? So that's just me. Do what I love. <laughs> the best time in my career. I believe the best time in my career was what was the date? I think it was the beginning of 2010. I was in New York. A event called um, Blackout. It was a warehouse packed with people. Well, I never really perform over there to the last stature, you know what I mean? So it's like, when I see the amount of people that was born me, it's frightening. And my first song, everybody just pull out the camera and like... Watch them? Yeah. I mean, they watch it, but they pull out the camera, so they want it. From the time I hit in front of me, the whole place just... I don't know, like they forget they had the camera in their hand, and they just... I mean, like, I have a picture on Facebook, I could tell that story. I just seen everybody break down two pictures. Happy first song, and the second song, everybody was just. That was a nice feeling. It was real nice. Real nice. And my worst. Hmm. My worst. What's that fact? 2009. Yeah. Uh, we do this song. I do this song with Marshall. Block to block. Are you running out? And I forget my words. <laughs> yeah, so we move it, chop the chop, and we drink it, chop the chop, 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 certain experiences into music like I wouldn't I wouldn't necessarily do that in terms of soca because I believe soca is a more happy music so 
we will just write about people being happy and that's that. But with the hip hop on R&D, you could tell that story. McGill break up with me. Toxic, like I dropped a song being toxic last year. Like I see people cry right next to me. Like two days after I dropped the song and her friends started to talk about the song and she started crying like, no, don't talk about that song. Don't talk about that song. You know how that is make me feel. It's like, true. Does it kind of effect it have? It's real. So people could not touch it. Yeah, because so guys more on the major notes. Major is more happy. The white keys and the keyboard as the happy keys. The darker keys is the darker feelings. Yeah, if you're more emotional with the darker keys, so yeah, it would be able to give off that emotion. I just feel it too the music. I, I have real feelings. <laughs> Charlie was good. Mm. I mean, it was a little feelings toty. <laughs> feelings toty. <laughs> <laughs> because, I mean, when I was about six, my mother left. Mm. She went to New York. She never came back. So, uh, I always feel like if you were one in my life, would leave, what? man. Because my mother leave, man. But I'm getting over that now though. You don't talk? Yeah, mm. every day. She didn't leave me, leave me, but she left. So, I mean, the, the only female thing in my life was my stepmom. And it's a real rebel, and she. I don't know why, but she's just a rebel. But now, I mean, a little better. I'm a dog, I'm a, I'm a daddy. Serious? I'm a You're close to your mother? Yeah, daddy play guitars and he, he waits the truck. You could play? I can play drums. Mm -hmm. Daddy's a guitarist. He just be home pulling them Santana style strings. Yeah, he like that vibes. Spanish vibes. But daddy is my rock. Mm -hmm. He's a real support man. He don't ever give up on me. That's the only person I would say. Never give up on me. So, yeah. Uh, Twin sisters, uh, my twin, oh. yeah, was, um, my brother, my brother, and Marlon, as our mom said, our stepsisters, Ayana, Monica, I have a children, Monica and Foreign, and our other brother, Lucy. My biggest breakthrough, I believe, was in front of her. That was my second year with the HD band. Marshall left. Like he left us to hold on the band by ourselves. And in front of me just pop off. Start a shoot. So all around the world. Like that was when people saw the Amonka hits on the video. It's like what? Where are these hits coming from? Where? Because like, I don't know like it wasn't doesn't show how can I can make that kind of leverage. Because really and truly, I kind of decided to step up the game with that video. With T.I. and his um, Cohen Thor, Dory. Mm -hmm. yeah, so after that, I noticed everybody step up their video game immediately. As in Cohen, I mean Dory and I'm just the block. Everybody started around by them. Uh, I guess my biggest lesson was to be humble and do so. Even though I might want to. <laughs> just had to be quiet and take it and be like, okay, alright. Because sometimes, I mean, I'm real cool, but yeah, it's a small charge here. Yeah. Or a spike, uh, I don't know. It's just something I'm uh, normal than it. But it's every time you're across, I will chip off. So it's just controlling that. Can you know, is it really mature? Mature. Yeah. And dealing with situations better. Yeah, I mean Your old I, I missed was a couple of years at the Soka game, but other than that, I have beautiful children. I love them. Just take care of my family. 
no business. She try to keep my friends, well, my close friends. You know, she try to help them out as much. So life is good, always, because I'm breathing, I'm living. Regrets, way unnecessarily call it regrets. Lessons. Narrowly. Lessons. Lessons. As I say, just to be humble and deal with people the right way. Even if somebody come off, you just deal with them near heights. Yeah. Not gonna play, eh? You see a building? It can't be on a high building. Look down. That's what it'll be like. The last day, I'm from here. <laughs> yeah. Heights and wells, boy. Not spiders. Probably snakes. That's it. Yeah. And deep water. Mm -hmm. Can't really swim too good. But swim, no? Not too good. <laughs> well, owning a couple of businesses. You can yeah, like business? Yeah. I'm looking into food right now. So, I mean, I just like to make money. That's it. Business. It's called it. progression. Yeah. That's all. I like business. I like to make money. I like to see people happy. My OMG was being invited to sing with Marsha. Well, I noticed like they was watching me sing from before. But I wanted to do a collaboration with Patrice. So I ended up calling him, talking to him. And within that conversation, he was like, well, look, me, I want you to seriously consider going to be buying. Wow. You know? I was like, true, okay, I'll consider it. I'm down, I'll be full. Yeah, I don't know why I got there, <laughs> Yes. A lot of opportunity of a lifetime because we travel the world and see places we've never seen before, like Texas, Montego Bay, we open for Beyonce, we open for Erica Badu. Yeah, it's like some big moments now. Like with the band, had some big moments. But I know to myself that it wasn't really my moments, it was boy moments. So I'd really like to create my moments. So after two years, I decided to push and go on my solo career. Although I know it might have been hard because at the end of the day, boy running the show. Boy is the biggest thing in the soca industry. So I don't want to ride his train, I want to ride my train. That is it.